Well, welcome back to ET Info, where I look at emerging technologies in IBM. Again, my name is David Barnes, and I'm joined by Michael Orn. Michael running the development group for Lotus Mashups. In the previous sessions, we looked at installing the beta of Lotus Mashups, and this includes Mashup Hub, and we'll call it Mashup Central. Yep. Right? Uh, we looked at a mashup being used, a mashup being wired together, and now we're going to look at the Mashup Hub and find out where's the data. Yes, cool. let's do that. So uh, in my last uh, demo to you, uh, we started with um, in the Lotus Mashups itself, and I had uh, used a widget called Customer List. You asked me, where does the data come from for this customer list? And that's what I want to talk about here. So this is the combined product of IBM Mashup Center. And what I will do now is go back from Lotus Mashups via this um, interface here and go to the, uh, the catalog. The catalog is one aspect of the Infosphere So Mashup that was Center. a down arrow right next to view. That's right. Okay, that was not easy for me to find. Right, that's, uh, that's one way to get there. Once okay. you come into the tool, you can go back and forth between these two interfaces um, seamlessly. Now we're inside the catalog, and if I go and click on the list everything here, you will get a flavor on what type of things that we um, you can put in the catalog, and at this point at least we intend to have in the catalog as it comes out of the box. Got it. So these are widgets and feeds? That's correct. Got it. Um, now, how do we get these feeds? Well, let me go back here to the home again, and this time I'm going to go to the create new feed and show you where they come from. So we click on create feed again. IBM Mashup Center is intended for the enterprise. So you will see the first category here is data feeds that you would expect in the enterprise. Databases. Uh, like SAP, Rational, yeah, okay. I, you I recognize see that. those, yeah. We also have a more departmental sources such as just uh, Excel spreadsheets, for example, in here. And that's what I want to show you here to keep it simple. I click on Excel spreadsheet and I go to Next. It will ask me which file type is it. Uh, stay with the Excel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I know in the spreadsheet, because it's my spreadsheet, that uh, the header row is in the first uh, row. You can put in the ranges and the worksheet numbers and so forth if you want to be more specific in here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and browse uh, my uh, desktop for the spreadsheet and um, I have one here that I've prepared and by clicking on next that will now upload the spreadsheet into the Mashup Hub itself. Into Mashup Hub. Correct. Got it. So now instead of having to send these spreadsheets around in e email back and so forth, you can put it in one place and you can actually offer it up as a feed from here. Got it. I'm going to give it a title and um, call it uh, my uh, customer list. And um, I'm going to add tags in here. Here's where the permissions come into play. So you can actually set it up for who you want to share this with. Which has been one of the customers' number one concerns after they said, ooh, mashups rock. Mm -hmm. What about things like permissions? Yes, so, so this is the balance of keeping things very simple versus also keeping some control over the assets. Mm -hmm. uh, here, again, for the simplest possible case, I'm going to go with the public. And um, here I can go in and also add uh, you know, some categorization to what this uh, feed does. And that's only for searching, though. That's right. Okay. Uh, I can go in and do caching uh, for, for feed and so forth. Um, I'm going to keep everything as defaults here and click on finish. And now I have actually created myself a feed from a spreadsheet. And the feed is now served up at this URL up here. I can go ahead and rate it. Um, so that feed's a widget. It's not a, f a widget yet, but I will bring it in as a widget okay. into the cool. those mashups here in a moment. And the way I do that is. If I go to add to Lotus Mashups, it will actually allow me to go and bring it into Lotus Mashups so I can use it there. Ah. Click on um, Add to Lotus Mashups. It will give me the title that I just um, put in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick the um, demo drawer in my toolbox. So, so those are the this drop downs one. that we saw before. That's right. I can now pick different viewers for this. This is a spreadsheet, so it lends itself about very nicely to be a table. So I pick a table viewer, and I can give it an icon that I like. I'm going to click this, uh, use this green one here, and click on Finish. Now, it has not been added to Mashups. If I go back to my Lotus Mashups view and do a reload, because I need to go in and refresh uh, right. the toolbar. Go into Edit Mode. Oops. Go back to um, Demo Page. 
So at this point, you actually created it on Mashup Hub, sent it down to your Mashup, and now you can actually, in fact, that's it on the palette, right? This is it on the palette right here. So this is the, my, my customer list is the one I just created and is now available on the toolbar here. Um, now, if I don't want to go in to the Mashup Hub to pull those things out, for example, perhaps you tell, tell me that you've taken a spreadsheet and you served it up as a feed in the Mashup Hub, mm -hmm. I can also go in and search for it directly here by open search. Uh, interface. So if I type in customer, click on the open search icon in here, it will go in and go to the catalog and search for feeds with the keyword customer in it. Sweet. So as a, a let's say, a non-technical user, just line of business user, I don't need to go into Mashup Hub at all. Just give me a keyword, something mm -hmm. that I might want to search on. I find it and add it that way. That's exactly right. So here I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go back for the same one I just created, my customer list, add it to toolbox. This time I'm going to put it in the drawer Tools, and I'm going to again pick a Table Viewer, keep the name the same, and uh, I will give it a different icon here, so yes, we recognize it again, and click Add. Close the dialog box, and when I go to the tool, now you will recognize it right here, and here is now the same, uh, another widget, but the same feed behind okay, it. Okay, so, and when you created that in Mashup Hub, you decided whether I could even find it. Right, you decided whether it was public. That's right. What the permissions were, so if you decided that it was private, I couldn't even have found it with the search. That's correct. That's sweet. Okay. Well, we looked at installing. We looked at creating a mashup. We using a mashup, of course. Mashup hub where the data is stored. Anything else you want to go through now, or you want to bring back some more stuff in the future? <laughs> I can talk for this for hours. I know that. But I think this is probably a good place to stop for now because there's other uh, things that we, that we should probably spend and focus uh, time on. Terrific. I know you have an iPhone demo that we don't have time to go through today, so just leave the iPhone here if you would <laughs> like. And I thank you very much for coming to visit us. And there you have, we'll call it Mashup Central. And there'll be more to come. Again, this is from the beta. And after you come out with the final release, I know you'll have more. And so if you will, please visit us again, and we'll have more on ET Info. I'm delighted. Thank you, David. Mm -hmm.